There is a saying, if exercise were a medication, it would be the most widely prescribed and cost-effective medication ever invented. Today, let's talk about the five health benefits of exercise on kidney disease. Studies have shown that patients with chronic kidney disease have a variety of symptoms. These, in turn, increases their cardiovascular risk factors, such as having a stroke or heart attack. And all of this can reduce your kidney function even further. On the other hand, exercise improves your quality of life in the short term and it can also decrease your risk factors of having a stroke or heart attack. Recently, we've had some recommendations on what exercise and how much exercise patients with chronic kidney disease should be doing. I will put the link in the description below, but let's summarize the main things in the recommendation. Firstly, let's talk about patients with CKD stage 1 to 5 who are not on dialysis. It is recommended that daily exercise which could be as little as going for a walk or as vigorous as going to the gym is beneficial. 30 minutes of exercise five times a week or 150 minutes in a week of moderate intensity is recommended. What is moderate intensity? This could include going for a brisk walk where you're sweating but still able to have a conversation, swimming, which is a great low impact exercise, riding a bicycle on a flat surface, or if you already exercise and you want to take it a step further, the recommendations say 75 minutes of vigorous exercise. This includes running or jogging, cycling on a steep hill, fast swimming, or aerobic exercises. Now, what are the main benefits of this? We know that patients with CKD have a higher blood pressure. Research has shown that four to six months of exercise can reduce your blood pressure by five to 10 millimeters of mercury. A lot of patients with CKD also have diabetes. Exercise can control your blood sugar levels and improve your glycemic control. It is also shown to improve your cognitive function. It increases your quality of life. And one of the most important benefits is weight management, especially with patients with chronic kidney disease, both high BMI and low BMI or sarcopenia, which basically means low muscle mass is associated with a higher risk of death. It is recommended that patients with chronic kidney disease who are not on dialysis should have a BMI between 18.5 to 25. Now, there were two other important things that were mentioned in the guideline. Firstly, stopping smoking and secondly, limiting your alcohol consumption. It is recommended that you have around 14 units of alcohol in a week. What is 14 units? 6 bottles of beer, 6 medium glasses of wine or 12 small gin and whiskey in a span of a week. Now let's talk about patients who've got chronic kidney disease and are on dialysis. We know that physical activity levels are low in patients with on dialysis. That's partly because they have to come to the hospital three times a week for four hours and also because they have a reduced muscle mass. Research has shown that mortality or death in patients who are on dialysis and who exercise is lower as compared to those who are on dialysis and don't exercise. So let's talk about one of our new concepts called interdialytic exercise. This basically means exercising during dialysis. Some centers have these leg exercises machines where patients can exercise while being on dialysis. This has shown to improve heart health, muscle strength, improve your mood, reduce stress, and most importantly, increase the efficacy of dialysis. The recommendation is that you do these exercises in specialized centers. You do it for 30 minutes, but not during the first half an hour of starting dialysis. It should be of moderate intensity, and you can add resistance training at the same time while doing these exercises. If you get symptomatic while doing these exercises, for example, you develop low blood pressure or have chest pain, then you should stop it and consult the medical professional. The recommendations say that your BMI should be between 20 and 30 if you've got kidney disease and are on dialysis. Now let's talk about exercise benefits on patients who are pre-transplant and post-transplant. One of the most important benefits of exercise in patients with kidney disease is their eligibility to be transplanted. Most centers have a cutoff of a body mass index of 35 and below to be eligible for a transplant. Secondly, research has shown that patients with kidney transplant, the most common cause of death in them is cardiovascular risk. Around 17% patients have this risk and exercise has been proven to reduce this risk. The recommendations are the same, 30 minutes, five times a week or two and a half hours in a week but it is recommended that you avoid exercises which can have an impact on the transplanted kidney. These include boxing, rugby, hockey, and similar exercises. They suggest that your BMI post-transplant should be less than 25 if possible. I hope you're feeling a bit more inspired and knowledgeable about the benefits of exercise and chronic kidney disease. Remember, every small step counts towards a healthier you, and it's about finding what works best for your body. We've explored how exercise can be a game changer for those undergoing dialysis, or for those who've got a high BMI 
and are not eligible for a transplant. Next time, we're going to talk about the benefits of having a healthier diet and what foods you should have when you have chronic kidney disease. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and make sure you like the video. See you next time.